So we are at the annual student conference for the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. Specifically, we are at the Chemi Cube competition where we're presenting our posters and dueling with other colleges to capture the most carbon dioxide within a span of minutes. So Chemi Cube, uh, easiest way that I found to explain it is just take a chemical plant and then just shrink it down into a cube with one foot dimensions. Basically, we create a miniature chemical plant that fits in a one cubic foot cube based on whatever the theme of the competition is that year. And this year it is direct air capture, uh, carbon dioxide and regeneration of that, which is basically taking the CO2 out of the air. To a kid or a child, I would explain this as a rapid tree. We are trying to enhance the process of photosynthesis. An innovative project where students are proposing carbon emission solutions, usually restricted to some sort of competition constraint. Um, currently the duels are happening, so I'm feeling really nervous actually because our first run, it was a lot to take in and it's a lot that's been building up this past year, but I'm relieved that we're finally here and showcasing our cube that we've been working so hard on. So we've just done our first duel and it was definitely high stress. We had to make a lot of last minute changes to make sure that we were correctly able to read the CO2 outlet. So it was definitely stressful, but definitely rewarding now that it's. I'm actually like very happy that I got a chance to come here, explore San Diego, meet new people at a conference and, you know, did our cube. Their series challenge focuses on direct air capture, um, which is a problem that a lot of companies and industries are really trying hard to figure out how to make it economical. So um, to do this, we are also investigating this problem by building a one cubic foot mini plant that performs direct air capture. Um, and in addition to building this plant, we do some economic analysis, we market the product, and we figure out the scope of what this tiny cube could do in the future. So this means uh, you have to make a decision between how effective your method is at capturing CO2 and how easily it can be regenerated or release that CO2 back in a controlled manner when we want it. A lot of the time there is a big trade-off between the ability of a material to capture CO2 and hold on to it and then also the ability for it to release it. So some materials may be better at capturing and holding on to it very tightly but then might not be able to let it back go when we want to. And this new step involves uh, some uniqueness because we have to not only look at what this looks like within our one cubic foot design, but see how this might look at scale as we push this design forward and pre present our business pitch uh, at the competition. And it allows us to help solve some problem in sustainability and really helps us contribute new ideas to the world. It also has many different aspects like the pitch and like business parts and advertisement for our cube and trying to sell it to investors. And it's a great way for chemical engineering students to apply the curriculum that they've learned um, in their coursework and in their universities to like a fun and applicable and like very tangible uh, process. Yeah, so direct air capture is a holy grail and we need innovation, collaboration and entrepreneurship to take the concepts that the students have developed to scale. It's amazing to see the excitement and energy of students where they have come up with novel materials. They are putting all that in the process. And the fun part was they are also doing techno-economic analysis. So are taking all this together and trying to do it at scale with a pitch of how are you going to sell as an entrepreneur is really, really exciting and energetic to see. This year, 18 teams competed at the student competition and we saw a diverse set of solutions from the student teams, really showcasing the breadth of different research areas that they've looked into to try and solve this complex challenge of direct air capture. I joined this competition and most my team as well, mainly because I have such a passion for sustainability. And this competition really gives students the opportunity to invest in our planet's future. I have an interest and passion in renewable energy and sustainability, and so um, carbon capture is something that I've been interested in. Um, this project is impactful because um, global warming is a big issue, and so direct air capture is one of the solutions that we have to um, attempt to mitigate that. Um, to be part of a competition that involved a lot of chemical engineering was something very attractive for me. I just, you don't see those very often. And um, I think it's very important in today's world because of climate change and to be part of a project that involves carbon capture is a great opportunity. I think the ChemiQ competition is a great way for students to turn 
their learnings into action, a way for them to start building something instead of just staying in the classroom. It pushes the boundaries of engineering and creativity in the sense that it can really be sort of implemented anywhere. CO2, high CO2 concentrations are found all throughout the world in the air, and so building a solution here could be the solution to the, this problem all around the world. Every part of this competition required us to collaborate with each other. It required competitive thinking, entrepreneurship, also being able to generate new ideas while also progressing with the limited resources we had. Yeah, so, you know, we, we use teamwork every step of the way, you know, I, I always think, you know, three people working on it is always better than one, and so my goal is always that we can work together. Another part is just that with college teams, there's so much turnover. Everybody's always graduating or they're going on co-ops, and so I always want to have the, you know, the experienced technical specialist with a couple of freshman rookies, so that way then they can kind of explain what's going on and we can kind of transfer knowledge over. Teamwork is very important because when you're working in your cube, you're going to need different fields to work in that field, electrical connections, chemical reactions. So yeah, you're going to know the knowledge of everyone. So yeah, teamwork is very important. Multidisciplinary is very important in that competition. Uh, for On the building side, we had people who were uh, more focused on the building, while we had someone who's very good at electrical. A key moment was uh, one of our uh, eboard members who is very good at the electronics uh, was able to correctly wire all our parts together and that was able to bring everything together when I wasn't able to do the, the electric part. It's really my honor today to come here and look at all the diverse approach all the students took. They really piece, pieces everything together from fundamentals, from engineering, mechanical, and all the way to like materials, uh, business cases, IP strategies. I'm really amazed by all the effort and thinking they put together to make it reality and uh, to demonstrate their CO2 capture capabilities. You can take what you've learned in this particular challenge and apply it. You can have very relevant skills on your resume to apply that to any number of DAC companies that are out there asking for interns and other companies in the carbon dioxide removal space. This field is not going away. This field is going to continue to grow. And this competition is providing students a way to gain some background knowledge and gain some basic skills and knowledge about this space and be able to move forward in the long term. So it has been really exciting to sponsor this competition uh, by ExxonMobil. And the reason we have done this is to really foster innovation in the new next generation, collaboration, the spirit of collaboration. But more importantly, it's really critical for them to understand and know that any idea in the lab to make it to commercial or take it to commercial, it's really, really important to have a cost focus. Can this scale at the right cost where somebody can actually do something with it in the industry? And that is bearing a lot of fruit. Thank you to AICHE and Rapid for the partnership. And it has been great working with AICHE on developing this concept for a few years and will continue this for the next year. One of the things that I've realized about the 2024 ChemiCube competition is this is where innovation becomes reality. The student teams have really done a great job in order to showcase how technologies can be put together and achieve a goal of trying to achieve society's net zero challenges.